uh, I just want to make a little note on shortcut keys in Blender. Most of the shortcut key functionality can be done by pressing the correct corresponding button somewhere within Blender. Uh, you don't have to memorize every single shortcut key in Blender. It isn't like the olden days of Blender where it was pretty much like operating some kind of uh, rocket ship or something. But nowadays, Blender is far, far, far more intuitive than it was back in the day. So most of the shortcut keys are actually embedded in some button in Blender. And it is generally pretty okay to find if you look around relatively hard enough. So if I want to move the object, I don't have to memorize pressing G will move the object. I can somehow find it in the menu. So by maybe pressing object and maybe transform would be good. Ah, I found grab. So I can see that the shortcut key here is G. So that'll be useful to help me remember next time to press G instead. So clicking that, I can move the object. You can pretty much do almost any kind of operation just like that. You don't have to always memorize the shortcut key. And again, it is pretty useful to have the shortcut key over here next to the operation name, because if there is some kind of operation here that you find is quite useful, it is always handy to have that shortcut key uh, next to it, because next time you can um, get to it a lot quicker by pressing that shortcut key than having to find it in the menus. Nowadays, the biggest advantage of memorizing the main shortcut keys in Blender is the speed. And I think that's one of the main reasons why Blender is really, really fast to work with compared to other 3D software is because you can get things done really, really quickly. And I think one of the most important contributors in making Blender really, really fast is shortcut keys. Let's take a look at another scenario. Say there was some functionality that, that you were sure that Blender can do, but you just don't remember the shortcut key and you just can't seem to find it in the menus. Um, well, you can obviously find the functionality. You can search for functionality within Blender. You can do that nowadays. So all you have to do is hover your mouse anywhere you want and just press space and then search for the functionality that you are looking for. So say I want to, uh, I don't know, delete an object. Well, you can find here that object delete and OK to delete the cube. Sure, go ahead. I already have another one here anyway. Uh, if I want to duplicate, um, duplicate objects, that sounds about good enough. And I can you can also see the shortcut keys over here as well, which is pretty handy. Some of them have shortcut keys and some of them don't, which is a bit strange. This seems to be the same thing. I Okay, it's a bit weird. But anyways, the point is the functionality is there. So if I click that and then drag, I've duplicated it. Having said that, if you actually do want to memorize shortcut keys, it is useful if you do memorize at least the most important ones. I suggest going to guidanski.com slash design slash 51 blender map. Uh, I've supplied the link over there for you to use. I can also put it in the description below this video and go ahead and just download this map over here. So this infographic will show you all the most important shortcut keys that you'll pretty much ever will need in Blender. So whether you need for, you know, transforming objects, uh, for rotating view, um, for modeling in edit mode, you'll know that soon. Whether you want to animate, whether you want to texture paint, whether you want to render, every shortcut key is there. So, uh, so I strongly suggest you, you know, print this out stick it on the wall next to your bed, probably not your bed, probably it's better to stick it right right next to your computer because you can always just move your eyeballs to slightly to the left and see what shortcut key that you need to use. And um, yeah, just make it a lot more easy on yourself. Eventually you'll pick it up without having to rely on this. I think for me it took about three, four months before it started to become second nature to me. I mean, all the view transforms and the, I mean, all the view transforms like GRS and all that stuff, I got used to that within a week because <laughs> that's pretty basic but all the other stuff you know all of this all of these other shortcut keys uh, it will take about three months before you start to feel comfortable with it uh, so uh, yeah that could be your homework print this out on, on an A4 or not even an A4 maybe even bigger than that like an A3 paper stick it on your wall throw, throw out that other video game poster that you have I mean, or if you don't want to throw it out just shove it to the side a bit and put this one instead so uh, yeah, um, throw away your video game poster, or if you don't want to, just shove it to the side a little bit and put this one in there instead, because 
this will help you a lot. So that's uh, pretty much all I have to say about shortcut keys in Blender. Um, so uh, that's, that's pretty much all I have to say about shortcut keys in Blender. I hope this video has been useful to you. Keep blending and um, don't worry about shortcut keys too much. It's not a big deal nowadays. And I hope to see you in the next video.